the uh, the first page I want to look at, let's look at page 21, 22. Let's see what kind of questions we came on that. Give me a sec while this warms up. Talk to me. I don't know yet. It was so last Thursday, I don't remember that far back. I met her in the mall today. So met her. No, there isn't another one. You guys know what I'm talking about. What? Oh, okay. We're not cheating. She, we're going as friends, so it's not cheating. I can talk to as many girls as I want. So that makes sense. Page 21, 22, let's take a look. <clears throat> what kind of questions did you come across on 21, 22, please? Please note that we do have a test this week, so... Make sure you know it. You feel good with it. We good on twenty one twenty two? Yep. All right. Let's go to twenty three twenty four, please. Number 21, the one with the star on it. All right, we want to solve on this one, for 21, we want to get W all by itself. Agree? So I have a W here and I have a W here. Comfortable with that? Yes. So let's start, let's move everything that is kind of either added or subtracted over, and we're going to be left with some other stuff there. Do you know what that means? I think my W is too long. Oh, so that what you're saying? Okay, so I'm going to move this over. So how do I move it? How do I move it? But it's being added to it. Right. Yep. 2LH, I'm going to move it over here. That's going to cancel out. So it's A minus 2LH equals 2LW. We still want our quest to get W by itself, right? Yep. Okay. Both of these terms have a W on it, agree? So I'm going to reverse distribute. So I'm going to have a W, I'm going to pull out. So if I pull that first. So does everyone feel comfortable that I cannot add these together as they sit? 
I have a W on both, so if I pull it out front, what am I left? If I pull a W out of this, what am I left with right here? 2L, cool. And then plus, if I pull out a W right here, what am I left with? 2H. Is that okay? And then I'm going to divide this whole quantity here. Good. Is that Joy Shot Night Out? going to cancel, so this is what W is equal to. Done. Anything else from those pages? Yeah. 16, you got it. Freddie, did that answer your question? Kind of, sort of. So A equals one half, B, I said A, H, and we want to solve for the H. All right, one half B and H are being held together by multiplication. So then I'll divide. So I could do this. I could multiply this by 2 over 1 and this by 2. So that cancels. So that gives me 2A equals B times H. And then that division is definitely coming down. So divide your side by B. So I find that H equals 2A over B. Okay, if you're turning anything in, which I hope you're turning blushy, up to two pages in, make sure your name's on anything you're turning in on the top, so double check it before it comes up, and we'll take a look. Stack. Thank you. So, ladies and gentlemen, a few things that are coming up this week. So, in our Algebra 1, for CP Algebra 1, we do a couple of things, sometimes a little different. I want you to be completely aware how we do it. It's not hard. So, today, which is Tuesday, right? Tuesday, we're going to look, take a look at... Uh, page is 25-26. It's the practice test. Okay, we're going to take a look at it. I can help you on any of those problems, any notes you want to put on it, which is awesome. Tomorrow, which is Wednesday, I didn't have a Monday this week for school days, huh? I will then give you on Monday something called the take-home test. Now, the great thing about a take-home test is it looks very similar to the actual test that you'll take. It's in the same type of format, same type of questions. It's not the exact ones. I mean, we change them a little bit. So the take-home test, you have the opportunity to work with each other, work with your tutor, work with your parents. The only people that, only person that won't help you on this take-home test is me. But you can ask other teachers. So if you were in the math science resource room, there's tutors in there as teachers. Because a lot of times the teacher gives up a period to be in there. You could ask questions about it. Okay? If you can do the things on the take-home test and you understand it, that means that you're going to do great on the in-class test. The take-home test is worth 25% of the test grade. When I grade the take-home test, I either grade the, the questions are graded as right or wrong. No partial. 
That makes sense? Why do I do that? Well, you have it. You have the opportunity to use any materials you want on it. And you don't. I kind of noticed there's only five cell phones up there. Six cell phones, one being mine. Should we forget? Charging the deck. Charging the deck? Charging the deck? No, I thought you were charging. Warren back? Okay. Oh, yeah, we have a charging station, I guess. My one does a little everything. It's got like 16 things on it, and then you have 17 phones, and someone's left out. All right. So that's Tuesday and Wednesday. Um, Thursday, we will have our in class portion of the test. Now, the nice thing on the in class test is you can get partial points on problems. So if you forgot a negative, things like that. But you can get partial credit. This, you're on your own. You're not working with anybody. I give it to you at the beginning of the period. You have the rest of the period to work on it. Uh, we typically design this to take 25 minutes. For those of you who get time and a half or double time, you can get it done in a period. Okay, because you have the entire period to do it. So those are just some things that are on the agenda. Friday, I'll be gone again. Okay. So we have a couple things. We will have a pretest on the next unit. Nice thing about the pretest, it doesn't count for or against your grade. We just want to ba have a baseline of where you're at and show you what kind of growth that you have at the end. We didn't do a pretest on this unit because this is all prior knowledge. Okay, it's new stuff. And then there'll be a lecture that'll be online. So when you come in, you'll be asked to grab a Chromebook to do the pretest, to go through the pretest on Schoology, get it done. I think it's 10 questions, multiple choice. Do the best you can on it. If there's stuff on there going, I ain't ever seen that ever in my life, okay. It's a pretest. It does not count against or, or against your score. I do put it into the grade book, but it's like a grayed out assignment. Won't count against you. Yeah. Well, I think it's really important that people know that the on the testing that takes place, you don't know what the answer or if you're gonna like gas the entire bus. Because we just if we don't know it, we just want to be assuming that we're doing the best things that we can. That's okay. I, either way, it's fine. I, I would say answer everything your best you can. Do the best guess. Okay, because there are Sometimes, sometimes you might be able to get it down to a 50-50 shot. There might be four answers. You might be able to say, I mean, it's got to be this one or this one. Do your best. I mean, that's, that's a good thought process for SAT exams. Okay. But uh, I would say do the, your best on it. Do a guess. That's it. Do some kids go in and just go A all the way down saying, dude, I'm done. Look at me. Yeah. You know what that kid gets to do? They repeat the course next year because they can't answer. Those who don't try, they cheat. I wouldn't want to sit in this exam. I don't think I would. I have three students this year who are pass. I'm a junior high school. Yeah. I'm sixth grade. Yeah. Just kidding. They did pretty good. They had, they had me last year. They failed. Now they're actually doing pretty well. Do the algebra and the calculus. Sorry. Huh? I do have a scene in the next period. He's actually a history senior. Oh, God. Super senior. Wait, so he's taking like five years? I don't know how many years he's taking. I just like He never shows up. He's on my roster. Oh. I don't know if I'd show up as a fifth year senior either. I mean, you make it. Why would he? He's that. Super senior. Super senior. Super senior. <laughs> super senior. He's on the five year plan to get out of high school versus the four year plan. So. I mean, I do that. I, I don't want you to do it. Why? Because you don't want to be in here. All right. If you would, so today we can answer any questions you want on page 2526. So if you would, get that out and take an honest look at it, and let's see if we can start working things out.
It's on page 17. Freddie, I bet you know how to do some of this. Okay, we do. All the legs. Freddie, I bet you can do some of them. Okay, yeah. number 16. Number 16, happy to. So this is problem number 16 on page 25, yes? So they want us to solve this. They want us to tell us what x is equal to. I have two distributive properties, so I'm going to distribute here and here. So what is half of 6x? 3x, yeah? Uh, yeah. Okay, and then half of 4 is? 2. And then I'm going to distribute here, so I'm multiplying. So that's 10x minus 40. Is that all right? So I want to get x by itself. So at this point, we're going to do our dotted line. So I can either subtract 3x from both sides or subtract 10x, or I can subtract 2 or add 40. So I'd probably say let's subtract 3x from both sides. That cancels, so I get 2 is equal to 7x minus 40. Where should I go from there? Yeah, buddy. That's 40. <laughs> 42 is equal to 7x. How are 7 and x being held together? <coughs> Multiplication, what ended up with that? Division, good. So uh, 7 goes into 42 six times, so that's not bad. Huh. What do you think? Very smart. What else? On that, say on just page 25, you want to take a look at. Let's not look at the back yet. Yeah. 13. <coughs> Number 13. Okay, so it says the sum of the measures of this triangle is 180 degrees. So let's see if we can figure this out. So this is 5x, and this is x. And they tell us that if I were to add all of the angles up, they would add up to 180 degrees. And that's actually true for all triangles. All triangles add up to this. So if I go 5x and I add that to x, x this angle and this angle, and then what does this mean? 90 degrees. So if I add 5x and x and 90, all of those should add up to be 180. Cool? Hmm. Oh, I heard it. What'd you say? Oh, it's 6x. Yeah, 6x plus 90. Good. So I have some like terms over here. goes into 90. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, 13, it says, uh, find the value of the variable and then find the angle. Okay. So if x is equal to 15, which is this, so that means that's 15 degrees. And that has to be 5 times 15. 5 times 15 is 75. Yeah. If I add 75, 90, and 15 together, I should get 180. I don't know if you'll see a problem exactly like that on the test. I don't know if I have any shapes on there. But still, let's go take a look at it. Good job. What else on that front page you want to take a look at? You like that? Go ahead. Ten. Number ten. So we have three over two. B plus six plus one half B is 
equals 15 plus 2b. That one? Cool. Uh, this is one I might think about clearing the denominator. So I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 terms. So if I multiply everything by 2 or 2 over 1, that's going to allow this to cancel. So that's going to give me 3b plus 12 plus 1b. That's 30 plus 4b. Is that okay? It appears I have some like terms, so I can combine these together. That's going to give me 4b on this side plus 12. And then I get 30 plus 4b. And then from here, I'm going to subtract 4b from both sides. I find that 12 is equal to 30. Yes or no? Yes. 12 is equal to 30? No solution. No solution. Two hmm. What else can I call three? Two what? What did that say? Is there anything there that you'd like to take a look at? Oh. On the back? Yep. Right. 21 through 23. 23? Okay. All right. The formula for the cylinder is V equals pi r squared H. Okay, so we want to solve this for h now. So pi r squared and h were all held together by multiplication. So I'm going to divide this by pi r squared and this by pi r squared. And that's going to cancel here, here, and that's it. So then I get h all by itself. Done. And I don't know what else is asked. Uh, I would skip B. You're not going to see that on the test. So I would say just A part is all we need on this one. Okay. 24, let's take a look at that. So we're talking about some triangle. I don't know what type of triangle it is other than a three-sided kind. So the measure of two angles of a triangle, the measure of two angles of a triangle are each four times the measure of the third angle. So if this is x and this is x, hang on. So the measure of two angles of a triangle, two angles of a triangle, are each four times the measure of the third angle. So these are 4x and 4x. What do all three angles add up to in a triangle? 180. 180. So I have 4x plus 4x plus x equals 180. That's 9x equals 180. x is equal to 20. 180. So what is the measure of the third angle? So the third angle is 20 degrees. And then each of these would be 80 and 80. Because all three angles have to add up to 180, so 80 plus 80 is 150, plus 20 is 180. That's correct. Yay. What else from that back side? Keep going? Yes. And we'll skip the ones that I know we we're not going to see. Uh, I'd say number 25, let's not worry about. 26, I wouldn't worry about. 27, I wouldn't worry about. You won't see those on the test, yeah. Can we use a piece of paper to manipulate your last test? Yeah, yeah. So we have, how we have it set up, and it'll be like on the take-home test, is you'll have like, you'll have a problem like that. So you have kind of a lot of room in there to write, but if you need more, that's fine. Yeah, sure. Yeah. That gives us more room for the test to get used to. Yeah, yeah. Good call. 
All right. So why don't we do this? Let's have us uh, page 2526. Have you work on it. Um, does anyone want to see 18, 19, or 20? Yeah. That's a yeah? All right, let's take a look at those. You will definitely see. How many answers do absolute value problems have? Two. two. Remember, we can have two distances away from zero. Okay, so this first one, number 18, I have B minus 12 absolute value of that is equal to 15. So let's create two problems. Is that okay so far? I have 12 here, I have 12 here. If I get B is equal to 27, I have 12, I have 12. So let me ask you this. Every now and then you might get a problem like this. What do you know? Can I have a negative this in this solution? I can't have a negative this in. Okay. Now how we might try and trick you on this type of problem is we might have something like this. This looks like a no solution off the bat, agree? But if you add 7 to both sides, you wind up with this. And then we can break up those two problems and easily work out the answer for us. Okay? Happy? All right, so let's have you all work on the rest of this page, and we're going to knock off a few of the problems that we don't need to worry about. So 25, 26, I would say 1 through 19 are definites. And then 21 through 23, in which I did 23, I believe. 23A, we'll put that. Sound good? I will wander. I will help you. Use this as the opportunity to discover if you know how to do it. Of course, if you flip to page 28, 27, 28, you will notice those are the answers. So let's see. So let's test A. Do I have answers there for number? I don't know if I have the answers there. Number 12, number 12, I do. Cool. Everyone know what to work on? All right, I'm wandering, helping.